The athletic community across the nation mourning the loss of a Jacksonville basketball great. Rex Morgan died after a long fight against cancer. Morgan is remembered for helping the JU Dolphins reach the NCAA National Championship game back in 1970. And his coaching contributions are legendary at the Arlington Day School where he won numerous awards. We spoke with his teammates and close friend, Artis Gilmore. Against the defending national champs UCLA and the tip is over to Jacksonville. Morgan breaks and hits the opening basket. On the court, and as a young man, Rex Morgan was a two-year starter for the JU Dolphins, who's remembered for leading his team to the NCAA tournament to face off against the UCLA Bruins. It was the guards who kept the Dolphins in the game. Even though JU lost that game, it was a monumental moment in the university's history. The school retired his jersey, forever recognizing Morgan on the Wall of Fame. Morgan's teammate, Artis Gilmore, who went on to play in the NBA, said there wasn't a stronger leader than Morgan, who was drafted in 1970 to play for the Boston Celtics. Rex was uh, the point leader for the team, and Rex didn't mind stepping up, taking the pressure. He enjoyed it, and he, he thrived on, on the pressure. And uh, we, uh, and of course me, you know, it really, open doors for me. Gilmore says over the years he maintained a close relationship with Morgan who was diagnosed with throat cancer six years ago. He says he was able to spend quality time with Morgan before his physical condition got worse. Had a chance to spend a little bit of time with him and visit and we you know the times that we, we talked and, and shared and watched a little bit of football together so uh, <clears throat> excuse me I had some great visits with my dear friend. Morgan also had great success as the head coach of the Arlington Country Days basketball program, where his team earned Florida State High School champions seven times, with a combined coaching record of 849 wins and only 82 losses. Gilmore says more than anything, Morgan wanted to give back and help others reach their potential. With his skill set and his abilities, he were able to give back and, and put things back into a program taking over and working over at uh, Arlington Country Day. He uh, assisted in developing a number of uh, young kids and men uh, into young men. And they were uh, just so many has gone on and become successful. JU officials say former players at their school at the Arlington Country Day School and current NBA players are all reaching out to Morgan's family now to pay their respects to a man who was an example of what leadership looks like.